Hey everybody, uh, Dr. G again. Uh, no coffee today. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick one here. Um, <laughs> what I meant is like I uh, just thought of it. Wouldn't it be nice? Um, because I keep sending these emails out to uh, customers, friends. Um, when it comes to uh, carbs and how to set them up, we're not talking about like you know how you break in man maintenance operation. All that should go. Uh, I'll do another video on that um, as soon as I have my test stand back, which is not with me right now. Um, no, it's just that, just about the carb settings. Uh, some things uh, need to be considered, and it doesn't only apply to four strokes. Uh, it really applies to all engines uh, that run uh, that we run in RC, because uh, we're mainly really looking at uh, things you uh, do on your transmitter side, not even uh, mechanically uh, on the airplane side. So let me see if I can get a little closer here. And uh, it sounds like my daughter is going to come downstairs in a second. So I hope you guys don't mind. Hey, Claudia. Hey, I'm doing a video. Okay. You want to say hello real quick? No, you don't? Okay, then, uh, then play with Gustav. All right, so here we've got the carb. Uh, nothing fancy. That's actually one that uh, I get from Moki, which has the fitting to drive, um, you know, the internal Walbro pump, uh, which we sort of try to avoid by using a fuel pump, but that's besides the point. Choke, throttle. So um, let's mimic uh, a motor, a Moki, a Valak, a Colm, a Roto, a Zenoa, a DA, doesn't matter, right? Let's mimic how long it takes with a prop on the airplane to go from idle to full throttle. We're talking about spool up, right? And I'm not talking about you guys with those insane DA200s. I'm talking about like everybody else on Earth, especially the four strokes, uh, you know, which work on torque. So throttle and then whoom, 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 right? That makes sense. But guess what your servo can do? That's how fast servos are these days. It doesn't help us. Because what happens is that this thing outruns the motor. So right now you're offering way more mix then the motor can digest. So you're running away from the motor. Um, that is not how it should work and can work. So what do you want to do? Brand new motor, brand new transmitter, uh, not transmitter, but new, new program, right? You open up a new program for your new model. Set the carburetor, just for starters, don't be scared yet. Set it up for a second up and a second down. Just set it up like that, all right? All we want to do, break in your motor, and when it comes to four strokes, I'll do a video on that soon. Uh, once it's broken in, right? Now, dial in your needles. You know, I mean, everybody's got their tricks on the, on the two strokes. On the four strokes, what I really love to do, I wanna have, uh, I wanna putt around on idle, right? Just a good idle that I feel safe at. And then flip the throttle open. Boom, let it go up, right? Second release, second delay, right? We go, boom, slowly open. We want to do that till the motor doesn't follow, where it goes whoop, right? We're too lean. So lean up, lean up, lean up till whoop. Richen up again, whum, whum, whum. You want the good one. Oh, I bet <laughs> you guys love my engine noises, don't you? Um, now full throttle, go to max RPM. Don't richen it back up. Be on the safe side. We were hunting on a, on a, on a radial, especially, we we're hunting a compromise of five consumers. They're like offered one mix that follows gravity and all that other nonsense inside these radials. Um, so not one of them is going to be super happy. You want to find a compromise. So don't richen it back up like with your old quadros. <laughs> Just go for top RPM on full throttle. Now, if you look inside, there's different injectors here or atomizers or sprayers or spray bars, what do you want to call them? Um, the one for, for throttle, for low end, sits in front. So it always affects everything else. Now if the high end, you know, I like to go back, just look at the throttle one more time. But anyways, so now we've done that. Motor's fully broken in, right? You lean it out like that, and now you speed up your servo again. And you will see that, let's say you start at a second, you go to 0 0.9 seconds, it's gonna spool up faster. 0 0.8, spool up faster, seven, six, five. At some point, the motor's gonna spool up slower again because you're out racing the best spool the motor can actually produce for you. So bring it back to the perfect setting. It's almost like tuning a tuned pipe, right? So now you've done that. Now you will probably find yourself in a situation 
where you can lean out the low a little bit more, surprisingly so. Because you're now in perfect sync. The motor's as happy as it could be. You can now probably at this point, it sh will not affect top end, but you can probably go to the low, which is of course is, is this guy. Uh, no, it's, it is that guy here. <laughs> Hold it that way. I want to go to the low and lean it out more. You'll be surprised. So you can achieve a much lower idle, most likely, um, and a much better transition. I mean, how, how about that for a win? Um, so we adjusted the needles. The next one is, and let me just see if everything's, yeah, it is, everything's in here. Um, the next one's going to be, um, how do the guys build their motors? See, they don't start with a carburetor. Those guys sit down and say, hey, we want to build a 100cc uh, two-stroke or whatever it may be, right? Or a 250cc radial. Uh, we want to be player number 84 in the market. Um, they built their motor and now they look at the carburetors. No one out there, except for these days Saido and now Fiala, which make the Valak motors, no one out there has their custom carbs made because they just don't have the funds, to be honest, or maybe the interest. Um, so they're going to try to find a wall, bro where the mix that's being created inside this carburetor matches what the motor needs for a mix, right? How it's, how it's cooked, how it's brewed. The total amount, that's a guessing game. Of course, they don't want to have a carb that's too small where they just can never exceed max RPM, but chances are, it really isn't that's for two strokes, four strokes, doesn't matter. Chances are that they finally find this unicorn they're looking for. You know, and that's why you see all these different carbs. You see a lot of 48s, uh, a lot of the four strokes will go with 225s, but you will see quite a plethora of carbs. Um, but chances are, in total, it's able to supply more than the motor can consume. So what you want to do, you want to go to full throttle, and now go to your throttle mix and take away on the top, max travel. Let's say you're at 100, right? Now you start closing. 95, 90, you're still at max RPM, 85, 80, 75, all of a sudden you're at 75, you go to 70, finally the top RPM drops because you're finally where the supplied amount of mix and air matches the, 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 the actual demand of the motor. Now, since we all know that up in the air, you're going to gain a couple of RPM again. And I just made this completely up. So don't think there's any science to it. I like to add like another 10% again, right? So let's say I was at 75. I go back up to like 80, 85, just to uh, account for gained RPM up in the air. But what I now have, if this is my throttle travel, right? Before I maxed out here and this was dead. Right, everything up here was just dead. So that was actually my actual travel. I now have max travel and resolution. And that's what you want. You want max resolution. So instead of like being maxed out here, minimize the max travel, make it fit your car. So, and now for the total freaks out there, and there's nothing wrong with it, I love to do it myself. Um, now let's say down here, idle, just for easier math, we say we're at 1,000 idle, right? And let's say we're at 5,000 at full throttle, all right? So at 50% stick position, I want to be at 3,000 to make it super sweet, right? So now I can go and adjust my throttle curve if I really want to do that. Because otherwise it could be that you're right here, you're at 3,500, at halfway and you're only getting 15, 1500 on the top. So if you really want to have it absolutely picture perfect, you maximize the resolution by taking away full throttle, uh, full travel, excuse me. Um, you adjust the servo speed to the actual spool rate that's physically possible on your motor. And then you do a, a throttle curve mix. You measure your idle, you measure your top, do the top math top of your head, right? So. 1,000 plus 5,000, 6,000 divided by two, 3,000, right? Just to make it easier. So you know at 50%, I want to be 3,000. Uh, set that up. And now you've really done everything I can think of. If anyone out there has any other clues or tips, let me know, reach out or post in the comments. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time uh, with some more motor stuff. I want to start doing some engine videos because um, it's one of the things I enjoy the most. And 
I'm probably, you know, I don't want to not say I'm known for, but oh look, that fly, beautiful. <laughs> but anyways, um, more motor videos coming up in the few, next few weeks and months. Uh, but first, I need my test stand back and my tools, and then uh, we're gonna go deep in there. Thank you guys.